I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow Hello and welcome to the next episode of Pokemon Shield. So we're going to continue um, here in the Bros Tower. And we made it here, but we're going to look around the city a little bit for uh, some items. So we're going to grab this, Eerie Impulse, TM93. And then we're going to go, the user's body generates an Eerie Impulse, exposing the target to its uh, to it harshly lowers the target's special attack stat. Okay, and then we're going to go down here. We're going to pick up the... Hidden item somewhere around here, maybe? Mm, let's see, let's see. On the bike. Yep, there's a sparkly. Very candy. Alright, so then now we're gonna go to the other corner. So pretty much all four corners should have, like, uh, an item of some kind. There's an electric seed. An item to be held by a Pokemon that boosts defense on electric terrain. It can only be used once. So that will fade away once we equip that on a Pokemon. I found a nugget. So that's an easy 5k. And we're gonna go this way. Let's see what this is. A cell battery. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It boosts attack. If the holder is hit with an electric type attack, it can only be used once. So it also fades away. And a bottle of PP up. Because all our Pokemon need more PP. Alright, so we're gonna go into the Rose Tower now. I'm pretty sure. Let's talk to Hop. Let's go wild. Yeah. We're going in. Alright. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Listen, Wild. Don't know if you already knew this, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from their premises at once. See, if Miss Olena says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Uh-oh. So he's trying to... Get rid of us for money. Marco Cosmos Elijah sent out Durant. Ah, we both have Durant. Nice. Um, hit it with Dig. Let's see if we can get it. Metal Sound would dodge that. That's good. Now we smack him pretty hard. Nice. It's using the Iron Head. Okay, it's not really that effective. Oh, that was a crit too. That's hilarious. That was really not effective. Um, let's try X Scissor. It's not effective, but I think we're still going to deal more damage. Iron Head. Boom. Nothing. Awesome. X Scissor. Hopefully this takes him out. Yeah, we got him. Alright, so who is next? Um, okay, Durant leveled up 57. Having to give up my pocket money, lose, losing means I'm back in the red. I got 9,600 for winning. <laughs> nice. My, my bonus, my dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Wild, let's crack on. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just go forward. See what happens. Rose. So we're going up. This is taking ages. What? I don't think we're on the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Oh no. It's a double battle. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Galar League's gym challenge. Yeah, I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. 
we will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the glorious high-tech elevators of the Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Marco Cosmos Construction. <laughs> so everything's just about, like, brand naming? I don't know. You were challenged by Marco Cosmos Jane and Marco Cosmos Mateo. Alright, so Jane has Kufant. And Mateo has Bronze on. Durant. And Double. Alright, so look how big Double is. He's so big. Um, can attack Kufant first. Okay, not very effective, but half your health. Boom, that might kill. Nope. Oh, he's paralyzed though. Extra, extra sensory. Okay, good thing he didn't target me. Oh no, Kufan's gone. Okay. Be really, really funny if I just dig too. Gonna counter him. Okay, so what's Double gonna do? Body slam on Bronzong. Okay. And then extra sensory on Double. Sorry, Double. Okay, nice. He targeted me. Dig. Big damage. You're dead. Super effective. Critical hit. And he fainted. Um, no one leveled. Let's see. Double use body slam. Boom. Took a hit. It's not very effective. He's using metal sound on my double on his double, not my double. Pops double. His special defense harshly fell. So if he uses extra sensory again, it's gonna deal way more damage to him. So let's try and take him out. Excision. Boom, crit, no crit. Body slam kills. Aw. Oh. Does he have sturdy or something? No. He literally just lived with one HP, excuse me. That is lucky. Alright, he's gonna try and hit me with extra sensory again, so let's just take him out. I think my I outspeed. My Durant's way faster. Alright, so he fainted. I don't think they have any more Pokemon. Yep. So we're good. We created an extraordinary lift that is safe even for a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmos Construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. I got 19,200 Poke Dollars for winning. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends, but that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Marco Cosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working this sums ragging for us. Let's, let me heal them all up. Nice. So we didn't whiff any items, so that's good. Okay, let's see what happens here. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? Marco Cosmos Insurance. So they just shorten it now with MC. You're challenged by Marco Cosmos Kevin and Marco Cosmos Carla. Marco Car Cosmos Kevin sent out playing. Mawile. Alright. So. Same strat. Ooh. Intimidate. Alright, so fight. Um, dig. Super effective on Mawile. Go, go, go. Doubles using Body Slam on Mawile. Boom. Hopefully this crits. He's paralyzed. Shift gear. His speed rose sharply. And his attack rose. Okay. 
Still paralyzed. Can't do anything. Durant, you stake on Mawile. Boom. Super effective. He's using shift gear again. He's just boosting his stats. It's kind of scary. What's he going to hit me with, though? Hopefully not a hyper beam. I might cry. That's crazy. Alright, so fight. Um, take him out with X Scissor. Then I don't have to worry about them all while. Boom. Okay. He's targeting double. Oh man, he's destroying double. X Scissor on Mawile. It's not very effective. And he fainted. And T Ghost leveled up. And Tack leveled up. And he wants to learn Magnetic Flex. And let's see what that is. So the user manipulates magnetic fields, which raises the defense and special defense stats of ally Pokemon with the plus or minus ability. Okay, interesting. So that's very specific, so we're not going to use that one. And T goes for level 52. Nothing. Okay. Double, use Body Slam. Boom. No damage, because he's useless. Pop, you have useless Pokemon. Playing's paralyzed. And... Uh, X Scissor. I guess we just melt him down a little bit. Hopefully this crits. This... Nope. Okay. Reversal. Ooh, nice. That was super effective. So he's paralyzed still. And one more X Scissor should do it. I think he dies here. And they have no more Pokemon. Big damage. You're dead. Ooh, he's so close. Rook is almost there. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building's well over 500 feet tall. That's as tall as around 100 Machoke standing on top of another. I get 19,200 again for winning. So we are making bank from this. So she's quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, her insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. <laughs> they have to pay me directly. Nice. Oh, Hop just healed me again. That's kind of that's kind of broken. This is going good. This is going really good. You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for lofty Marco Cosmos Air. You were challenged by Marcos Cosmos Adeline and Marcos Cosmos Justin. Steelix and Stungfisk. Steelix is kind of a menace. Oh no. Alright, so I might actually swap out for this Steelix, so we're going to bring out Bun-Bun for a battle. Go Bun-Bun. Alright, so hopefully Bun-Bun just kind of sweeps him. Double use Body Slam on the Stung Fisk. Boom. I think Stung Fisk has like a passive. Nope. Okay. Metal Sound. Uh, my special defense harshly fell. Steelix is using Rock Slide on both of us. Super effective on one of us, I think. Yeah, Bun Bun. Alright, so fight. Um, Pyro Ball. Steelix. Kick, kick. And kick. Boom. Big damage. Boom. You're fucking dead. Woo. Super effective. Critical hit. That was easy. Gained XP. Rick leveled up. Let's see if Rick wins anything. Nope. Double's gonna use Body Slam onto your Stung Fisk. It's not very effective. He's using Muddy Water. On both of us. That's not good. It's super effective on only Bun Bun. I'm getting targeted. Okay, so fight. Power Ball. Stung Fisk. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, he avoided. Body slam, he's dead. 
crit. No, not even close. <laughs> Bounce. He sprang up. Whoop. Okay, I see you. Um. Uh oh. All right, so we're gonna whiff a little, uh, little healy heal right now because we don't want to die. Uh, so just a super potion should be fine. We'll whiff one. Can't attack anyway, so. Okay. Double whiffs, and Stunfisk is gonna use it on me, I bet. Nope, double, okay, cool, awesome. Double's paralyzed, sucks to suck. Okay, no, I don't wanna go to my bag, I wanna fight. Alright, Pyro Ball, Stunfisk. Bun Bun use Pyro Ball, kick, 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 kick. Big kick, big kick. Yeah, you're dead. Stunfisk died. Durant might level, yep. And nothing, okay. So Marcos Cosmos, Adeline, and whoever else just died. Woo. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmos air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? You got 19,600 for winning. We're almost getting 20k per battle, that's insane. Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top, not just of this tower, but all of Galar. Okay, so that's that's kind of cool. It's cute. We're fighting through levels of uh, workers. <laughs> Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this. Alright, so maybe one more battle? I don't know. Oh no, maybe we're just going for it? We just make it? Oh, we made it. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright. Oh, I can wiggle around. Alright, so we are going to make sure our Pokemon are alive. Okay. I'm going to switch up Bun Bun. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to leave it because Amulet Coin. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'll just switch in battle. It'll be fine. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space, here nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So, you got through all of the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. <laughs> you shall be the first wild... <laughs> If I beat you to pieces, the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Yo, she's insane. You're challenged by Marcos Cosmos, Oleana. Crazy mode. Sent out Frostlass. Yo, Pokemon knew what they were doing with her design. That's like... <laughs> sus. <laughs> Alright, so fight, and we're gonna go X Scissor on Oleana. Boop. It's not very effective. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my Pokemon. Using Will O Wisp, I'm burned. No. No. Okay, that's fair. I'm gonna hit you with X Scissor again. Big damage. Nope. It's using Hex. No. No. He's just burning me. <laughs> okay. I see you. You want to burn? We will burn. Let's go Bun Bun. Let's turn the heat. Use flame charge. Big damage. And I'm faster. Goodbye, Fro Lass. You will not be missed. Almost leveled up Zorark. My low tick. Ooh, that's a pretty Pokemon. Alright, so let's see. Fight. Um try double kick on her. Poke poke. A little poke poke you smoke. Pokemon was hit two times. 
Oh, it's a use aqua ring. Okay, so she's protected kind of thing. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, just hit her with a double kick again. She just heal herself for like big health. Is that really what just happened? A few times. You surf. Oh no, I'm dead. Goodbye, Bun Bun. <laughs> you will be missed. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> okay, we saw that coming. Milotic water type guys. <laughs> we saw that one coming. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so tag might be useful right now. All right, so let's go fight overdrive on the Milotic. Big damage. Come on, tag. Yeah, that's how we do it. Goodbye, Milotic. You will not be missed <laughs> at all. Zorak leveled up. That's huge right now. All right, Salazzle. Okay, okay, level 50. It's getting harder. Um, I'm thinking Poison Jab. Incinerate. Big damage. No, okay. Go. Poison. No. Do it again. <laughs> Incinerate. Oh, no. Not so bad. Not so bad. We're still alive. Poison dip. Come on. Just get poison. Get poison. Okay, it's not gonna get poison. Alright, so discharge. Oh, goodbye, tech. Oh, yep. Tech failed. Okay. Okay, tech. We forgive you. Um... Let's bring out Durant so we can use him to heal somebody really quick. Sorry, Durant. <laughs> Let's see. So we're going to go... I only have three max revives and I don't want to whiff one right now. I'm just going to revive Bun Bun and we should be fine. Incinerate. I'm already burned, man. Goodbye, Durant. Rest in peace. <laughs> they fried my Durant. Alright, so we're gonna try T Ghost. Um, Sucker Punch. Hit him hard. Oh, it failed. Nip. Poison gas. Oh, man. Okay, she poisoned me. Ha ha ha. You're so fun, Salazzle. Okay, so... Shadow Ball. Venoshock. Uh-oh. Dude, this Salazzle's a menace. What is happening? Shadow Ball, come on. Big damage. Big damage. Big damage. Yeah, goodbye, Salazzle. You will not be missed. <laughs> Her Pokemon are toxic. No, I'm poisoned. All right, Serena. Okay, this might this might work still. This might work still. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can whiff a full full restore. I have 19. We're fine. Whip that right here. Boom. Okay, we should be okay. Acrobatics. Oh, she just fucked me up. Weak armor. My defense fell. My speed, speed rose sharply. Okay, nice. No, no, no. Go back, go back, go back. Fight. Um, Giga Drain. It's not going to be effective, but I'll get a little bit of health back. Oop. And I'll live another hit. Unless she crits me. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. No, she's killed me. No, re I wanted to live. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's try a Rook. See what happens here. This is getting kind of close. Air fight. Okay. She has two Mons left. I have two and a half. Um. Try Drill Pack, I guess. I don't know what else to do right now. Big damage. It's not going to wipe, though. Boom. Okay, I'm alive. Not very effective. Ooh. My attack fell, though. Try drill pack again. And she dies. 
No more Serena. Okay. That's huge. So we're Dynamaxing right now. I think we're Dynamaxing Rook right now. I think that's what's about to happen. My last Pokemon? Seriously? Olena's got to finish this. Garbodor. Oh, no. Giganto Max fucking Garbodor. Um... Max Darkness. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is really close. Okay, we have Ginormous Rook. He is Dynamaxed. And he is angry. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. A Gigantomax Pokemon. Oh, she's fucking salty. Gigantomax Garbodor. Alright, bring it, you big bitch. He's cute. He's got a bunch of toys in him. <laughs> oh, you can see the original substitute <laughs> as a toy stuck inside of him. That's kind of cool. The original substitute is right underneath the uh, blue airplane to the left of it. That's so funny. It's just like the original substitute, what it used to look like in the game back in the day. Like red and yellow. Max Rockfall. Oh no. Big damage. I think fire red and leaf green actually. Right, let's see. Sandstorm, Sandstorm. Max Air Strength? Max Rockfall. Boom. Big damage. Max Airstream. Not big, big, big damage, but a little bit of damage. Come on, Rook. Okay, nice. He's gonna go up, though. Okay. He's hit. Fight. Um, Steel Spike? Fuck it. Max Rockfall. I'm gonna hit him with everything. Back Steel Spike. Big damage. Let's go. That's it. Good job, Rook. You fucking king. That was amazing. Alright. Bun Bun leveled. And that's why we revived. <laughs> Gotta get those levels. Oleana is no more. That was not so bad. I thought that was gonna be way worse than what it was. Sai, I wasn't able to win. Oleana, you really are a hopeless woman. You got 14,560 for winning. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Ah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far will be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish, there is nothing to be done now. Typical wild, you and Durant are unstoppable. Actually, that was Rook, sir. Correct yourself. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and you still fail to understand what's at stake. You, who was supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. Well, I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is only one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This is madness. It's to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants, and that's what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that 
all I can look forward to is a better future. In a thousand years, fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Sherman. And I'll give my word, I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee, you never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Pierce and Marnie were, and all those team yell oddballs, they all helped us out to get here. <clears throat> I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes their pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop Wild. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. You'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you watch tomorrow's match. I'm sure it's, it's to be one for the history books. <laughs> okay, so we are on our way to the championship match now. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know I am going to change the course of history. The next evening. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had butter for you in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Wild. The finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Rillaboom, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other league staff. I'm a good one, if I may so so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Elena can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things that, like, that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then, yeah, wild. Well, let's go, I can't wait another minute. Does that mean show you the way to Winden Stadium? Yeah. Now let's be on our way. Alright, so we are on our way to Winden. And I think this is the championship match. Alright, so this is where we're going to end the episode for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Because we are progressing through this game and this is great. So we're going to save right here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Leave a like and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me what you think about the series and uh, any tips or anything like that to help me along the way. Thank you so much, guys.